Hello everyone for the deep web video for this week. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently we have a 3 minute and 11 second video. Longest video I think so far actually. Um, and it's literally got a black and white tinge to it with what appears to be very low resolution quality. Of course you're seeing a Minecraft window over there, but ultimately that being said, it's a longer video. I'm just going to hit play and see where we go from here. I might just skip through parts of it if it seems way too similar. First things first, it's definitely got no sound, which sort of fucking sucks. But anyways, we're looking into a weird looking room. Okay. That's something. Alright, it's... It's literally just... What the fuck? What? Okay, well... Okay, first of all, first of all, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this shit? And second of all, I think I've seen this. Like, I think I have. I'm I'm in that state of mind right now. It's late, but I'm in the state of mind where I don't know exactly where the fuck I've seen this, but I know that I've seen this. But aside from that, let me tell you, this is really fucking weird. It's up there with the with the fucking Ray Ray TV video we saw, <clears throat> with the with the soup, <clears throat> that kind of shit. Apparently, it's a woman in a mask trying to eat bread, but I don't know how the fuck you're gonna eat bread without any holes in your mouth. She's trying to eat the bread. I mean, she's doing the best she fucking can. I mean, here's the thing: without like the audio, I feel like it's not really scary. It's just incredibly fucking obscure and shit. I feel like if it had audio, it might be, like, somebody, like, trying to fucking... I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck is going on, dude. This is, like, really weird. Like... Seems like the world's most edgiest art project imaginable, dude. She's really trying to... She's really fucking putting effort into eating that bread, dude. Like, she's really desperately trying to get that bread going on. It's It's not happening. That's the thing. Now we're focused onto the ground. Actually, wait, let me go a little... Okay, she's still eating the bread. That's something. Good for you. She She's still chewing down on that bread, bro. She's really trying. What in the fuck am I looking at, dude? Okay, now we're peeking around the room. There's just like... It's weird, because like, I'm not spooked because there's no audio, but at the same time, I'm still kind of spooked that there is no audio. Feels like it's setting up for a fucking scream or something. I know I've seen this before somewhere. I'm trying to fucking remember. That's the thing. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I've seen this. Because I know I've seen this somewhere. Like, I just... it's what I know that I have. I just don't know where the fuck I've seen it. That's the thing. But the video itself is weird. It's just... It's like... It's, it's weird. You know, it's not like the video we've seen where the guy punctured his nose and, like, blood started dripping out or something weird shit like that. It's literally just like this that's all it is it's nothing really that special like it's it honestly it's not even that spooky it's just like really weird <laughs> actually let me forward it around she no it's just her sitting down what the fuck now there's a fucking now there's a dude standing behind her all muscly and shit good fucking body by the way what the fuck did i just see like, seriously, it's got no audio. Let's go forward real quick. It's literally just a black and white, low-resolution video of this woman sitting in what appears to be the world's most fucking decrepit room, eating bread, or trying to eat bread, through this mask that obviously she can't eat because there's no fucking hole there. And then, like, literally three minutes into the video, the only thing that changes is this dude stands behind her. So what the fuck? And then it abruptly ends. I feel like there's more to this, but, you know, this is all I'm getting, okay? Um, definitely a weird deep web video, like, a weird one. You know, it's not, like, it's not as weird as the one we've seen last week with, like, basically the Outlast 2 uh, demonstration real-life record, I guess. But this one's weird in the sense that I just don't know what's going on. Like, to, think, to me, people in masks freak me the fuck out. That's, like, masks like this, it freaks me out. But then you couple with the fact that, like, 
Like, the whole concept is weird. It's like, what the hell's going on? Like, why would someone sit and try to record this shit? And the other thing that just keeps bothering me is I know I've seen this somewhere. And that's just the thing. Like, I know I've seen this somewhere. I'm trying to remember where the fuck it is. Like, I'm trying to just remember where exactly I've seen this video. But yeah, other than that, the video is definitely weird. It's, but I feel like it, like the lack of audio doesn't make it spooky or anything. That's the whole, uh, that's the whole situation. Usually what kind of hits me in these is usually the audio. The audio like triggers some fucking weird system into me where I just like, I start feeling a little sick from it. Like we, when we got the Dirty Dolan videos, you know, Dirty Dr. Records, that had some really weird audio cues attached to it. You know, when we had Ray Ray TV, it was just shot in this really weird and the audio quality was off here. <coughs> I feel like you're missing half the effect. But it's still a weird video. It's still fucking unexplained, really. And uh, ultimately, it's it does leave me spooked. I, I have a little bit of a... I, I think I have maybe a nugget or two of fecal matter in my pants right now from it. But uh, nothing much, you know. You know. It, it's not that spooky, but I swear I've seen this before. So, uh, I took one of the, uh, stills out of the picture and basically made, I took one of the thumbnails from the picture, put it into Google images. And, uh, I found out that it was actually linked to the normal porn for normal people, a uh, fucking creepypasta we read a long time ago. And apparently it appears to be, if I can just find it again real quickly, I can't believe I scrolled away from it. It's, uh. It's, it's one of these videos. Fuck, which one is it, actually? Uh, wait, what is it? Four minute, five minute, ten minute? Uh, privacy, useless. Let me actually see this real quick. Where the fuck is it? I swear I've seen this on this somewhere. But apparently what it is is it's from the normal porn for normal people creepypasta. Where, uh, uh it's actually not even listed in here, actually. Um, hmm. Wait, what is this? Uh... Let me try to find it. Yeah, well, apparently it's part of this, uh, it's part of this creepypasta. That's essentially what it is. It's not listed into this creepypasta over here, but it's essentially listed in with the normal porn for normal people creepypasta. For those of you who don't know what normal porn for normal people is, it's a website that used to exist that hosted weird videos like this. Um, apparently the site is no longer active anymore. And uh, that's about it. That's that's really what I can tell you. Uh, if anything, watch the Cree Pasta video I made a while back of it. You know, it'll do more job explaining it than I'll ever do here right now. But essentially, this video is not, I guess, technically a deep web video since it's, you know, from normal porn for normal people. I think somebody just maybe took it and I don't know if it had audio initially because I've never seen the original video. I don't even know what the name of the original video is, but I think they... I don't I think it might have had audio actually. I think the person who took it might have cut it out or transcoded it differently and maybe they chopped up some parts out of it because some of these videos are like 10, 4 minutes long and that was like 3 minutes and so maybe maybe things were changed. But ultimately that's uh what's going on and apparently the person posted it on the deep web and that's about it. And uh yeah, it's from normal porn for normal people. So it's definitely a weird video. It definitely is a spooky video. But that being said, it's not, you know, something to uh, really write home about it's it's okay that being said uh i think we're gonna cut out because i've been really analyzing this for a while now and uh given all the thoughts that i have let's go to uh something else all right ladies and gentlemen this is our deep web video for the week this is a two minute and 38 second video um not much i can really say on it other than you know it's another deep web video that we've uh you know procured and ultimately, without leaving this introduction longer than it ever has to be, I'm going to start this video. Let me just max out the volume and hit play. Starts off in black. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What the fuck? Back back. We went out and saw her Dude, there's somebody in the fucking staircase area, like, under there. What the fuck? That was weird. It's got a bunch of, like, weird NES sound effects. Get a truck back and get her. Get a truck back and get her? Page posts? Doors opening. God, this fucking buzzing is pissing me off. 
it's loud no matter what. Dude, those are like prostitute ads. What does it mean by free doll? Teenies. Wait, what is what is this shit? Big cock. Door open. Okay, there's something. It's like a bunch of shots of these fucking back page ads. Dude, I swear, it's gonna be the first fucking screamer, dude. This fucking freaks me the fuck out. Photos of runaways. God, man, fuck. Sex with any girl? What the fuck? You see those goddamn eyes? Is that a fucking catch? What a... Okay. Well, let me tell you something right now. This definitely seems fucking super fake to me. Um, Allow me to tell you what I saw from all this, okay? This is one of those edgy videos that, like, everyone... I feel like this is mirrored somewhere. But this is one of those edgy videos that got posted, first of all. Let me tell you why I think it's highly fucking fake. Uh, first of all, alright, uh, the video is definitely fucking creepy without a doubt, alright? Like, if I watch this without recording right now, without, without all these lights on, yeah, I kind of feel fucking freaked out a little bit, you know what I mean? It's, it's the music that really fucks me up the most than it is the visual side. But uh, let's go over this video piece by piece. Let's actually, you know, really try giving it the analysis that we obviously want to give it to, you know what I mean? Obviously, a big part of these is analysis. Let's look into it real quick. I got to tell you guys, first off, the lighting is well done, all right? As a fucking film dude myself, this, this lighting on the side over here, the way it's handled, I know, like, the quality isn't necessarily great, um, mostly because, you know, obviously the DVD, it has to have a certain, you know, amount of file size for you to download it, but... Uh, the lighting, like, I know it doesn't, of course, look high quality, but it's fairly high quality for something that you find on the deep web. And the actual lighting used over here, like, that's really well done, by the way. That's actually really interesting. I think they used a light kit and just shot it at, like, fucking what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the exact... It's high Kelvin. It's basically fucking incandescent. Um, behind here, I feel like there's something sitting... But, of course, with the low resolution, you can't obviously tell. It weirds me out what the fuck could even be there. But, uh, continuing on. Okay, they got, like, weird sound effects, like NES sound effects and shit. What also really weirds me out is, like, some of these, like, fucking shots and stuff. I'm trying to find one. Uh. Yeah, like, fucking pictures, shot of families and all that kind of stuff. And it's, like, then they got this free doll stuff, which... Like, like some of these, like, dude, this is obviously, like, prostitution ads, you know what I mean? Like, ads, like, like, you, got, you guys ever been to, like, back page sites and stuff and seen, like, prostitution ads and whatnot? Like, sites where, you know, escorts, escort services exist and shit? And then they mention, like, girls in trouble, so it's, like, partially news headlines as well. Something broken over here. Fucking, that's fucked up, dude. Knockout. Safe to use. They have like sex. It's obviously very sexually oriented. Um, I think this is like a sex formula or something like that, like Super Viagra or whatever the fuck it is. That freaked me out initially, but that obviously is a cat or a dog. Um, that's really the only, like, only thing I can give you guys. That's a cat or a dog. Um, over here, obviously, not much to say. But then they ends up with the with the number seventy nine ninety five per tape. Which, you know, could be pornography or something like that, too. Pe people sell stuff. But the usage of the term tape 
And I mean, it kind of weirds me out because it's like, was this shot like a long fucking time ago where tape was a, like tape was a mainstream method of selling shit? Which okay then, you know, it was shot a while back. I don't know. But to me, this whole thing seems really fake, and partially because it's really high quality, first of all, for something like this. Uh, B, yeah, high quality in the sense that it was shot well, it, it was lit well, and it was edited well together as well, too. So, you know, whoever did this had some good finesse in these skills. Uh, number two, you know, even the use of that Dutch tilt was a fucking... <laughs> it's kind of a weird sign, too, but I can see why it was used. Uh, number two is... I don't know, it just seems like a fucking weird edgy art project to me as well, too. That's that's one thing that just screams at me, and I have no basis to say that, but it just screams, I'm an edgy art project, right in my face. So that's that's one of the things hitting me personally. Uh, another thing, too, is that, like, some of these ads seem like they're totally created, like, fake. Because, like, these are the kind of ads you see in, like, movies and shit, you know what I mean? Like, really pop out, you know, big virgin kind of stuff. You wouldn't really even see this on a back page or something. So it just seems like it's shot really well. It's created really well. You know, fucking Latini, so all that kind of stuff. It's It definitely is, like, faked out. Like, it really does seem really, really fake. Uh, but what could it mean? You know, is, is this another one of those arc type situations where somebody's trying to spook us? Is there something going on? You know, is this some fucking weird, like, sexually deprived serial killer? Who really knows? But to me personally, it seems fake. Like, really fucking fake. Um, but I can't, you know, obviously I can't say that for sure. Who knows? The guy behind this video might be some weird type of killer. But to me, it just seems like a very well-shot, well-produced art piece. And I also feel like there's more to this video. Like, there's there's more to this, and this is just like a really small section of it. Other than that, though, well, well done, well crafted, I have to say. Very, very well crafted. But ultimately to me, and from what I can really say, it does look fake, but it did give me the spooks. And compared to some of the other videos you've seen before, it definitely, you know, shut me up and I had to really give it my full attention. And it did legitimately creep me out. Was it as creepy as, you know, fucking the, uh, the blank, ro blank room soup video? No, not, not, not close. Was it even as creepy as that weird, like, Outlast two-footed shit? No. But was it creepy in its own, like, storytelling arg way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, that was a, our video for the week. And I'm going to end it on that note. I've already said my piece. Let's go to the uh, next thing on this fucking adventure. I'm going to back out of this. Definitely an interesting video, but I feel like it's fake, for sure. But a very well-produced fake. Got to give props on whoever made it for that. And if it turns out to be real by any occasion, holy fucking shit, I hope whoever's involved in the bad side of this is safe. Please, please God, let that be a case. Let's go to something else. And that is all for our deep web video for the week. Uh, we've basically covered everything. I can finally delete about 800 gigs of uh, <laughs> pointless archives on my system. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. We've seen some really weird stuff. I know I didn't really have a video for you. That's because I didn't actually really see a uh, video for you. I can't really promise one every week, but I try to as much as I can. Ultimately, this has been Deep Web Browsing Episode 52. I wanted to do something special considering 52, 52 weeks. We basically had a full year of this, and I figured I'd show you what was lost in the edit process. That being said, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I will see you next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with uh, with our deep web video for the week. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can just move my uh, mic around to a better position and just sort of relax and sit back and see what this video contains. This is about 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. Well, 2 minutes, 29 seconds. But uh, this is our deep web video. Of course, you can see we've got some nice bars and tone covered behind a lot of fucking static. And uh, in monochrome, by the way, too. And then ultimately, I'm just going to hit play, and we'll see right where this takes us off. So let's, let me actually fire this one off to full, and let's hit play. Relief is pleasure. All right, we got it. We got Doc, we got Dirty Dolan, we got Doc, we got Dirty Doctor Records. What the fuck is this, dude? There's somebody fucking screaming, holy shit. 
What the fuck? Just like so fucking somebody screaming, dude. What the fuck? What the hell are you doing, dirty doctor? What the fuck? This guy's freaking me the fuck out. What the hell? It's like somebody literally fucking screaming right now. Am I about to witness a fucking snot? Holy shit. Is somebody fucking tied up? It's like pictures of an exterior shot of this home. <sighs> fuck. That's weird, dude. That just fucking popped up. What the fuck? Okay, it's a clock. What the fuck is going on here? I feel like there's something deep inside there that I'm not... What the fuck? It's like a dog bowl now. What's with this spinning sort of animation, dude? Okay, now I'm looking at a fucking junk town favela. Again, it's fucking dirty doctor records here. This is like more freaky than the like live action versions. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude! That guy just shot somebody in the fucking head! They just pulled somebody's Brit. Okay, so after I saw somebody's brains literally get pulled out from a fucking open skull, uh, there were fucking, there, there was like three like older women jumping rope, like naked. And then after that was fucking, it was obviously whatever you saw that was uncensored was like fucking weird, like conjuring-esque shit. And that was it. Like, you know what this is, man? It's a fucked up art project, dude. Like. Usually with these videos, I don't really see a lot of fucking spooky shit all the time, but like shit that catches me off fucking guard like that. Freaks me the fuck out. We're going to look at the first half because <coughs> I don't want to look at the rest half with the fucking. With like the brain being pulled out, dude, that's fucked up, man. Like. Like, at first it started off with, like, the dude literally getting a fucking bullet to the head. Like, that wasn't fucking super gross, because, like, the dude, like, literally, like, a bullet goes into the head, the dude falls over. That one was, like, fucking, this guy's skull was, like, fucking half gone, and, like, the guy was just pulling out the brains and the guts inside from there. Uh, like, I don't know if that was fake or real. Whatever it was, it was fucked up, dude. It was fucked up. Relief is pleasure, all this shit. This is... I can't. There's, oh my fucking god. Okay, we're gonna look through some of this first half. Of course, it's Dirty Doctor Records, and I don't know what he means by relief is pleasure, okay? I really don't know what's going on over there. But, like, I just stopped on a frame. If you guys are looking right now, like, if you guys can see where my mouse is, like, I'm pointing it out, like, look really fucking close. There's legitimately a fucking face right there, and I can't believe I stopped on that frame. I don't know if it's, like, just the combination of the static being there, but, like, there's one eye right here, and, like, this is, like, a mouth. And, like, if you look around, this is a fucking face, okay? In fact, let me make it incredibly fucking easy to point out what I'm trying to say. So let me just go do a window snip. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This. All right? Now, let me just switch different colors. This is the eye that I'm seeing. Fuck, hold on. I'm totally fucking screwing up right now. Uh, no, hit that. This is the eye, and then, like, this is the mouth area. It's like, just look in those areas. I'm going to erase this real quick. It's like, I legitimately see a fucking face right there. I know it's like, maybe it's my mind just fucking with me, but I'm that that's a fucking face, dude. At least to me. Let's go back. Uh, just got this animation over here. And then they have all these, like, exterior shots of this fucking home. And then they, like, alongside that, this fucking screaming keeps getting to me, dude. If I can just find another shot of that interior. 
Yeah, this you have like this picture of the mask, and then you got like this clock hand moving around. And if I can look forward to this, it seems like the face is no longer fucking there at all. In fact, there's nothing really in here. I think there's like people walking around it. But it's got like, fuck, dude. It's got like, there's like some weird shit in here, man. Like, goddamn. It's like maybe my mind is going in like super imaginative ways. But like, I feel like there is something like around the area. I feel like there's definitely something over there. Time's also important to know. It's also 9 12. It's all shot in like, uh, late night, so to speak. In fact, like, a lot of this stuff, like these shots, which appear to be night, are shot at the PM 823. Which, uh, usually it starts getting, you know, sundown by then. At least here. And then that's about it. I'm not gonna go further into it because there's really no point going into it. It just devolves into a bunch of fucking shots to the head and, like, brains being pulled out. I don't really want to see that shit. That's fucked, okay? And you get to see, like, a fucking naked chick with, like, the Baphomet head. Like, you know, the fucking goat's head and shit. That's, that's fucking freaky, dude. Uh, but ultimately, that was our deep web video, man. Um, I, I asked about the most uh, analyzation I can really do of it. This, like, this shit truly gets to me, man. I'm going to need to go look into something else for a little bit. I'm going to need to take a break, go outside, and just cool off for a second. That was that, that last part totally caught me off fucking guard. Um, usually, these videos don't get weird. But this essentially, this was just an edgy art project. I feel like, I don't know what the message was being sent. Uh, real, like, fucking... Like, what was the initial message? Relief is pleasure. I don't really, I don't really know what they mean by relief being pleasure, but whatever it was, it freaked me the fuck out, dude. It really did. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the sort of analysis over here. Let me know what you think about this deep web video in the comment section below. Uh, it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go outside for a second. I will see you uh, in a bit. All right, hello everyone. We got our deep web video of the week, about a minute and twelve seconds long. And I always love it when it starts off with the black frame. Uh, usually whenever I just render these out again for uh, viewing, I always add a little bit of two seconds of black inside there just so I'm, I anticipate less, you know, just so I don't see the first frame and try to anticipate everything because my mind goes in every direction. We got about a minute and 12 seconds of uh, deep web video over here, typically the average of what we usually come across on the dank web. So let me actually hit play and uh, let's watch this. And of course, as always, we're going to give a little bit of an analysis or a major analysis, depending on just what the video is and what it's all about. So let me hit play. Oh my god, my fucking ears. What is that saying? Holy hell, my ears. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, what the fuck is going on here? I swear, is this is like a fucking TV show or some shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so the audio is completely fucking distorted. You've got nothing but these puppet characters. What was that? You fell for it? Is that what it said? Okay, you got these puppet char- well, What is this shit? Seriously, there's like nightmare fuel right here, dude. What in the hell? We're waiting patiently. For what? Holy fucking ear destruction, dude. Jeez, man. God damn. Holy hell, that fucking... Do you guys hear that shit? That was actually a legit fucking scream, like a garbled scream towards halfway into it before the screen went fucking black. God damn. Like, listen to this shit. Like, that's a legit fucking scream. I'm not dicking around. That isn't a legit scream going on right now in the back, dude. Holy hell. Now, as far as the video goes, it's got this Vegas, like, over, like, not this, this Vegas TV simulator look to it. You know, some filter tossed on. It's, it's obviously color corrected to be a little more blue fluorescent than normal. Um, aside from that, you know, it's got this, like, it feels like this is from some, like, public access kids show. Like, this intro or whatever. Because, like, you got these, like, puppets. It's actually, it's like, it, it, it's like high budget. To not be something filmed cheap, 
at the same time, but it's something you see on, like, fucking a kid's show for public access, you know, still, like, relatively, like, completely cheap by TV standards, but still, you know, it's like something you'd see on there and shit. And don't get me wrong, it's fucking weird. But, uh, what makes it interesting is actually reading some of these, uh, some of these fucking, like, upside-down, uh, phrases. Because we've seen upside-down phrases, uh, before. You know what I mean? I don't remember exactly which video it is, I'm totally blanking out, but we've seen this before. And to see it again is fucking weird, I will definitely say that. Uh, we're gonna look a little further into it, we're gonna try reading as much as we can. This is the first one that I've seen. You're easier to fool than I thought. Trust me, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. So if, you're, if, you're, if, if I'm the standard you set to fool, you gotta, you gotta up your game, bro. I've been watching you for a long time. Alright. Okay. This, this is fucking creepy, dude. Even if this was a kid show, I'm just gonna say it right now. It scares... That, that would fucking scare a kid right there, dude. I mean, one look at the teeth, man. They're already not sleeping for the night. You gotta look at this whole face. Hell no. Alright, so then you got, what is this? Nothing was what it seemed. Alright. I don't know what was nothing that it seemed. Okay, I got that. You fell for it. That's basically you telling me I lost the game, which every one of you watching have also lost the game. Anyways, let's go over here. Oh, I can't read this, man. What the fuck? I could put it into Photoshop, like, uh, I could put it into Premiere right now, but no. It's, wait, it, oh, not a game anymore. It really begins now. What fucking begins now, dude? It's not a game anymore? All right. Oh my God, stop with the screaming, Jesus. We're waiting patiently. And of course, after that, everything goes into this weird TV simulator effect and it all just really dies at the end. So now it comes to the question. I swear we've seen the upside down letters before. I know for a fact we have. I'm not exactly remembering which Deep Web episode we saw it on, but if somebody could, you know, sort of fill us all back up, it would be really amazing. But I don't understand. I feel like it's related to that, similar to like those VHS uh, font videos that we've seen. I feel like this is something related to a much bigger story that uh, I, I, I guess we have to try to figure out and uncover for ourselves, right? you know? But uh, who's waiting patiently? I don't know, but it's apparently the beginning. It's not just a game anymore. Uh, it, it seems like it belongs to some kind of an arc, or maybe somebody is actually making these, or it could just be some mirror or something that's been just brought onto the web in a low-quality format. Ultimately, I don't really know what to say, other than <laughs> it's certainly fucking ear-destroying. Okay, Defi definitely killed the ears at one point, but uh, I'm intrigued. I want to see where this leads to. I want to see what happens. You know, it, it could be something uh, pretty sinister. It could just be a giant joke. I guess uh, we'll only find out once more uh, stuff ever gets revealed. So I'll definitely look into it, but I strongly urge that you viewers also look into it. You know, we can solve these things together if you really put our minds to it, our, co our collective behind it. But I think I'm gonna end this uh, in looking at the analysis. I think we've looked at as much as we can. We've seen the, we've uh, we've heard the audio, obviously, obviously, <laughs> uh, and we've uh, we've seen what the text displays as well. So there's nothing really else. There's nothing, there's nothing much else I can look at it. I think we're gonna back out and see something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our deep web video of the week. This is about one minute and fifteen seconds long. Uh, apparently, we have a nice shot of what seems to be a suburban neighborhood. Um, other than other than that, uh, we got a minute 15 seconds, which is pretty average for a deep web video. Um, you know, usually if they're going to be really long, they'll go up to like five minutes even. The longest one we've had is probably the satanic documentary. But uh, anyways, let's start this video off and see what it's all about. Uh, I just hope it doesn't fucking come across some weird dead shit, but um, well, you, never, you never know what to think. It's a play. It's just a bike ride, dude. This might be the most tamest shit ever. Alright. Key. What, why are we in this neighborhood, though? Like, what is this fucking neighborhood? It seems like fucking... God, it seems like fucking Michigan or some shit like that, dude. This guy's got a nice orange truck there. This guy's breathing pretty heavily, dude. This 
kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of fucking weird, dude. Jesus Christ. Don't really, don't really know what to think. <laughs> Like, it seems like he's trying to find something. You know what I mean? But, like, the fuck? Now he's, like, going really fast. That's it? Oh. What the fuck? That was it? That was, that was all we had to see, really? Heh. I thought we'd get to see a little bit more than that. Mm hmm Okay, so. Most tamest deep web video we've ever seen. All honesty. Uh, this reminded me, actually, a lot of that found footage deep web movie that we found. Uh, the one with Slenderman at the end. You gotta remember how fucking cringy that shit was. But, uh, it's, uh, it's very similar to that, except we didn't have a screamer. But, I feel like the videos that we've been finding recently are connected and all to, like, this fucking, like, it's all these Argish videos, you know what I mean? Like, these alternate reality games that I think we're trying to find here. Now, uh, from what I'm gathering on this video, uh, it feels like, it feels like this person's trying to find... Uh, something out here you know what i mean like it's, maybe they're like stalking a fucking house like i feel like this is a fucking serial killer type shit where somebody's outside like looking at houses and stuff like that like like just right over here they like stop at this place look around like maybe this is the next neighborhood that they're fucking hitting or some shit like that i don't know i don't know what the significance really is i'm just going with like the most sensationalist view of the entire situation anyways now you have the person going back uh, they're the most sensationalist, uh, they're the most sensationalist, like, fucking, like, like, well, I have the most sensationalist thought in my head, but they turn around, they look around this neighborhood, and the neighborhood's, you know, fucking, you know, suburban-ass neighborhood, really, and then this person goes out and heads towards what seems to be the main road out there. That's really it, that's all I can fucking see out of the video, there's nothing else to really analyze. Um, I feel like there's a message, be there's gotta be a fucking message behind this shit, like, there has to be. Like, and, and I usually suck with trying to figure out some of these messages, too. But uh, I feel like there's got to be something around here that, like, I'm missing. Like, I know I'm, I know I got to be fucking missing some shit. But uh, this is all the video so far, man. Like, this is our shortest. This is one of the shortest videos you've had. Reminds me a lot of that, like, Slender Man thing. But uh, I feel like there's a message behind it, man. Like, it actually, like, this video, to be honest, is it's slightly creepy. Because, like, you got the heavy breathing. You got the fucking guy turned around and shit. And like, like what the fuck? Like you're just like, what the fuck's going, supposed to go on? You know what I mean? Like, is is this planning for something? Like my mind's going in every direction, or it could just be a video of somebody attaching a GoPro to their bike, driving around, breathing really heavily, just to fuck with somebody like me who fucking thinks in like a million different directions. Another deep web video for the week, pretty fucking tame actually. And I'm kind of, I kind of enjoy that because usually, you know, times where we've seen some really gory shit that just like hits me instantly. This one, I kind of expect to see something like that to be honest, but I'm glad I didn't. So uh, let's back up and go to something else.